All right, John, thanks. And as the dog days of summer continue, experts say this is the peak time to be on the lookout for the spotted, spotted lanternfly. Yeah, we've been hearing about this invasive insect, the species that has been spotted really in over half the counties throughout Pennsylvania. We're talking about it's been in areas like Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, even as near as Mercer County. Will it be in Erie County? Well, our Tom Kowalski wanted to find out uh, the details. He's also here to talk about just how dangerous, Tom, these flies could be. What did you find out? Northeast Erie County. Now, scientists say it's not a matter of if, but when these bugs show up and begin affecting farms across the area. If you haven't heard of the spotted lanternfly, chances are you'll be hearing and seeing a lot more of it soon. According to local entomologist Flor Acevedo, it's not a question of if they come, but when. They could be here anytime. They might be already here and we haven't seen them. They will come. Lanternflies have already been found in almost every southern Pennsylvania county leading to almost all to quarantine against the invasive species. Acevedo says while they haven't been spotted here yet, they could cause massive damage to one of Erie's biggest crops. They love grapes, right? And we have the grape, like the largest grape growing region of the state here in Erie County. And if they come here, then they will be a threat to the grape industry. So what happens to places like Maza Vineyards if the spotted lanternfly makes its way to Erie County? They can damage not only the fruit, but ultimately kill the vine. And it actually can just lead to ultimately not just the loss of that crop year, but the death of the vine itself. And with vineyards requiring, you know, a few years to get established, it's not an easy proposition to go ahead and replant if you're kind of dealing with that kind of damage. So how, if possible, are they preparing for the pest? Our drivers and uh, those that are making deliveries with trucks in other parts of the state, you know, they've gone through uh, certification to inspect to make sure that they're not bringing that pest back into the area. It's really a small part. It requires everybody to be aware. Any car or truck could be carrying that, uh, you know, that insect. You know, when it does arrive on our doorstep, we're prepared with the right mitigation techniques and, and the best information to, to manage it. Now, these lantern flies can spread incredibly easily, laying eggs or hitchhiking on cars, clothing, bags, anything really. That's why it's so important for you to check for these invaders when traveling out of county and kill them if you see them and to prevent not just these farmers, but also the local ecosystem from devastation. We'll have a lot more tips on our website, erienewsnow.com. But for now, live on the weather deck, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.